My name is Sharon. I'm from the Cordova Branch Library. And today we're going to share a story time about bugs. I know you're thinking, bugs, ooh! But really, bugs are wonderful. Worms help our gardens grow. Spiders eat mosquitoes, thank goodness. Butterflies add magic to the air. Honeybees make honey. So bugs are really neat and fabulous. But before we start our stories, we need to have a song. Let's start with a morning song, a good morning song, a welcome song. We wave and sing hello, we wave and sing hello. With the friends of story time, we wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello, we wave and sing hello. With the friends of story time, we wave and sing hello. One night by the light of the moon, there was a tiny egg on the branch of a tree. The next morning, the warm sun came up and pop, out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one red apple. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through one, two green pears. Mm, no, 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 no. But he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through one, two, three purple plums. Mm, no, 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 no. But he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through one, two, three, Four strawberries. Mm, no, 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 no. But he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through one, two, three, four, five oranges. Mm, no, 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 no. But he was still hungry. On Saturday, on Saturday, he ate through a piece of chocolate cake and an ice cream cone. He ate a pickle and a slice of cheese. He ate through a salami and a lollipop. He had a piece of cherry pie and a sausage and a cupcake and even a piece of watermelon. Ooh, that night he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. He ate through one green leaf and he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore and he wasn't a tiny caterpillar anymore either. Now he was a great big fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon and stayed inside for two weeks. When he came out, he wasn't a caterpillar anymore. Now he was a beautiful butterfly. The end. Our next story about beautiful, wonderful bugs is The Itsy Bitsy Spider by Isaac Tupani. Now you know the song of the itsy bitsy spider, and so do I. But it turns out he had lots of adventures. Let's see what he did. Here we go. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the kitchen wall. Swoosh went the fan and made the spider fall. Off went the fan, no longer did it blow. So the itsy bitsy spider back up the wall to go. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the yellow pail. In came a mouse and flicked her with his tail. 
Down fell the spider, the mouse ran out the door. Then the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the pail once more. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the rocking chair. Up jumped the cat and knocked her in the air. Down flopped the cat and when he was asleep, the itsy bitsy spider back up the chair to creep. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the maple tree. She slipped on some dew and landed next to me. Out came the sun and when the tree was dry, the itsy bitsy spider gave it one more try. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the without a stop. She spun a silky web right at the very top. She wove and she spun, and when her web was done, the itsy bitsy spider rested in the sun. Now, what adventures do you think you could have the spider go? Could the spider climb up a flower? Could it climb up on your car? There's all kinds of possibilities for the itsy bitsy spider and your imagination. The end. This is another story by Eric Kral, who did The Very Hungry Caterpillar we just shared. This one is called The Very Quiet Cricket. And if you're very quiet, you'll hear a surprise at the end. One warm day, from a tiny egg, a little cricket was born. Welcome, chirped the big cricket, rubbing his wings together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Good morning, words a locust spinning through the air. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Hello, whispered a praying mantis, rubbing his huge front legs together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Good day, good day, crunched a worm munching his way through an apple. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Hi, 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 bubbled a spittle bug slurping in a sea of froth. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Good afternoon, screeched a cicada clinging to the branch of a tree. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. How are you, how are you, how are you? buzzed a bumblebee flying from flower to flower. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Good evening, whirred a dragonfly gliding above the water. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Good night, good night, good night, good night, buzzed the mosquitoes dancing among the stars. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. A luna moth sailed quietly through the night, and the cricket enjoyed the stillness. As the luna moth disappeared silently in the distance, the cricket saw another cricket. She, too, was a very quiet cricket. Then he rubbed his leg wings together one more time, and this time he chirped the most beautiful sound she had ever heard. The end. Now we don't have time to do a craft together, but I brought two crafts that you could try at home. If you have construction paper and a straw, you can make a butterfly wand and you can decorate it with whatever you want. 
with colors, with dots, with stickers, with anything, and fly it all around. If you like ladybugs better, you can make a ladybug too, with black paper and red paper, because that's the colors of ladybugs, and some brads, and your ladybug can fly too. You can decorate it with black spots, but I like color, so I did lots of colored spots. I, when I was growing up, my mama told me that just because you've never seen one doesn't mean it doesn't exist. There are always possibilities. So maybe somewhere in the world, there's a ladybug with blue and green and purple dots. You never know. Try these at home, they're easy and fun. Thank you for sharing stories about beautiful, fabulous bugs with me. Now, let's finish with a goodbye song. Here we go. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Roll them, roll them, roll them, roll them. Roll them just like this. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them. Blow a little kiss. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them. Try to touch the sky. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them. Time to wave goodbye. Goodbye, thanks from the Cordova Library and your Memphis Public Library. And we'll share stories again soon.